Riverman started off 2019 with Dora Y, and I wonder why. Uncle Ibo fight is here, so I have to ask, Uncle Ibo, why? Mama V, why? <laughs> <laughs> this play is different. Yeah, in, what, in what respect? It's got this intensity. Yes. Um, there's humor, but there's this seriousness to it. Yes. I love the music, mm -hmm. the slow motion thing that you introduced. That's right. Like... Where is all that coming from? We did really? slow motion, we did fast forward. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a life, movie. Life. It was like a movie. Yes, live, live <laughs> in, in the theater. And um, yeah. no, we, we're happy. We're happy to be to be producing that. It's it's, it's been a challenging um, journey with that. Yeah. Because it's the things we we're dealing with were very difficult things, and yet we didn't want it to be morbid. Mm. We wanted people, we, we wanted the lesson to go, but we didn't want people to feel down. We yeah. wanted them to feel upbeat about, about it. And um, I think um, from the comments so far, we did quite well. Yeah, and the characters, I mean, it was like perfect. Yeah. The acting was on point. Yeah. And I saw people that I'm seeing in terms of um serious roles okay maybe not, let me not use serious but lead characters yes. i see them play it for the first time yes and they are so perfect like they're yes. it's almost as if they've been doing it forever we had them um, the story revolves around four main characters so it's actually a play with four main characters there are three people who come in for the rewind mm. the flashback <laughs> scene as extras but yeah. it's actually um, a story told by four um, four characters Two of them, this is their first time in a lead role. One will be Daniela. Yes. Yes, my Audrey. Yes, <laughs> the lawyer. Yeah. And then the other is her father. Okay. The one who played the father. Okay. Um, this is the first time that he has, I think this is the first time he has a speaking role. Okay. In, in, a, in a play. But you, you have all these actors, I mean, they are not like new to Roberman. You've had them, they've been around. They've been around. Doing other things. Yes. Ha, yes. So essentially, are you like nurturing them? Do you the, nurture the, the, the characters? Process, yeah, the process is, is a very indirect way, but you can't be a part of what we am, am, we're doing for a year and not pick a few things. Mm. It's not a very formalized thing. But when I'm directing a play, um, it's a very open process. And I am sharing my thoughts. I'm telling you why I want this one, mm. why I think this is better than this other one. Mm. I'm engaging with the, um, the, the artist and asking, how do you want to play this? Okay. You know, because I'm there to serve you. You've read the script. How do you interpret this? How do you want to play it? And then I would ask you, well, how would that, how would that square with this other line you deliver maybe 30 minutes down the line? Mm. So then let's adjust this one and make it work. So, nice. And that everybody is there to see it. And so those who really want to learn um, will learn a lot, and they yeah. do. And we have about four people in the group who have already produced plays of their own. Wow. Yes, one of them, Evans. I think Evans is on his um, seventh play. Elsie Schroeder is on her fourth or so play. So what, do you adopt the plays? No, these are their own productions. They are members of Roverman. Okay. But okay. every now and then they step out, do, do their, their own, own production and then they come back. Oh great. Yeah. Great. And then we give them whatever support we can. Nice. Let's talk about the theme for the play. Is it a coincidence that Easter is just ah. you know, around the corner? Did you think about that before creating? No, it's um, what one of those things that you have to call um, serendipity. Mm. Um, that it's just falling. We didn't even intend to have a production at Easter. You know that normally we'll have two weeks back and back. Mm. But then the first week we got, the second week we didn't get the date. So we now had to push it further. Oh, so back. this was not the plan from no, the beginning? No, no. Just fit in. It has fitted in quite well. And, and that is what, you know, we are in Easter. And one of the Easter stories, um, is lessons of Easter, is that God has discovered that. Quite often, we think we are in charge. But maybe if we all, and Roland and everybody, if everybody, you're looking good today. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been told? <laughs> 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 if we 
have to be honest, we will realize that the things that turn our lives around, mm. we did not plan. They happened to us. You were busily chasing something, mm. um, busily trying to follow some certain plans and things like that. Then something else happens and then turns and changes the trajectory of your life yeah. completely. But you didn't plan it. Mm. And so, Dora, why playing this weekend, Easter weekend, is one of those things that, um, you know, you would, for want of a better word, you are li like, it's, oh, it happened by accident. But no, there's yeah. a hand that, um, sure. that organizes all these things. And in those hands, we are safe. We are, we'll be all right. Yeah, but we're talking forgiveness. We are talking forgiveness indeed. And I, how you brought it all together, at a point I thought, oh, Dora, okay, no, let me not say what I want to say because I want you to go and watch it. Otherwise, so, you, you have to give us um, <laughs> 80 CDs, 80 CDs um, for, for So Dora more. was supposed to be like dead. Yes. And then I was thinking at some point, is Dora dead and then, and then or she Dora sends alive? A, and then like, she sends a letter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On the 30th anniversary of her death. Yeah. And says, don't forget me. Yeah. But how do you, because this is like the ultimate, eh, what somebody can take away from you. And how do you come back and forgive? And that. forgive, yes. Yeah. yeah. We have the, what I have learned from life is that we can forgive anything if the person who is causing the pain would admit fault and mm. show remorse. Mm. What makes the, the forgiveness difficult? Of course, we don't have a choice. You eventually have to forgive. But what makes it difficult is when the person who has offended you is justifying and rationalizing and uh, is trying to make it difficult and um, will not admit that I've done it. Yeah. But if somebody comes to you and says, look, I did this against you. I know I offended you. I apologize. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. It heals you. As against, ah, that by you two, you two, you did this. Is it only mine you can see? Yeah. What about this one? What about, no, then, then it compounds yeah. the thing. But if, we, if you show remorse, you'll be forgiven. And Wait. we have forgiven, we, we forgive a lot. Mm. You link it to love at some point. How much is love, maybe, is it so important to forgiveness? Makes it easier. Love makes it easier um, because once you love somebody, you become that person. Mm. You know, you become more or less a stakeholder in that person's life and fortunes. And so, in forgiving that person, it's easier to see it as I'm forgiving myself too. Yeah. Especially in, in, a, in a relationship like in marriage. Um, as long as I haven't forgiven my spouse, we don't have a marriage, we don't have a relationship. Not only is my spouse suffering, I'm also suffering. Mm. You understand me? Because the warmth that I will need, the comfort that I will need will not come. It's been, it's been short-circuited because of this thing that we are dealing with. Yeah. And so the earlier we can find um, an answer to this, the sooner we can return to normality mm. and to all the things, all the reasons why we even got together in, in the first place. Yeah. Right? So yes, when you, are, when you are in love with somebody, you become a stakeholder, a major stakeholder. This Especially if that person returns the love as well. Yeah. I, I wish I could say something, but I can't say it because I absolutely want you to watch the play and then you understand. There's something that love does even to a situation which is like impossible. An impossible situation, yeah. a very hopeless situation. Yeah. And yet love redeems, love redeems. And that is the Easter story. Love redeems, it yeah. will... It will, turn, it will turn your life around. Mm. It will turn your whole world ar around if you truly um, have been in love before. Yeah. Um, if you haven't to, then this morning, hearing us talk about it, I'm sure you are bored and you're angry. <laughs> like, go and fall in love. Is that it? <laughs> okay, but Uncle Ebo, this is uh, also the first time, if I'm mistaken, please correct me. There's a fun house for kids. Um, we, we did that about um, eight years ago. Oh, wow. That's um, a long time ago. Yes, eight years ago. But then it fell through. Then this time, 
we had um, the fan house guy deciding, look, we want to be associated with this. We want to do this for this thing. They, I, <laughs> one of our members, um, whose daughter, um, she will be about um, seven years old, would always come and watch the play with, 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 with him. This time, they came and made a mistake and took her to the best place. And she could not be pulled away. <laughs> she could not be pulled away from. from so is the, this inside the theater itself? It's, um, it's inside the theater for safety um, reasons. But this weekend, because of the numbers we are anticipating, yeah. um, they, it will be inside the theater and will spill out towards the, there's this foyer that faces moving pick. OK. OK. Quite we'll a lot of space. That. Yeah. And because there's quite a lot of security mm. there, because security at the Kappa, but security also um, for that particular part of mm -hmm. the National Theatre. So there'll be a tent mm -hmm. um, to accommodate the spillover okay. um, for that side. Do you pay extra for that? I hope not. Um, they, they haven't. Normally, our relationship with um, National Theatre is like that some of these things are subject to discussion, so okay. it hasn't come up. Okay, all right. There's a, I have a question on Andrew that I want to ask. Yes. I saw him in the play again, and I was thinking, he's been in all your plays, right? He's been in all but two. All but two. So that is um, 11 times 4, um, so that's about 44 plays. Wow. And he's been in 42. Whew. You hardly do that. Yes, but so what is it about Andrew? And Andrew's picture is going to come up. Uh, he's he's, very soon. he's an incredible performer. Yeah, he's he's the most gifted actor I have ever worked with. And remember, my days in the theater go back to 1974. <laughs> when I wasn't I, even, wasn't <laughs> even born. When I wrote and produced <laughs> my first play, so so that tells you a lot. When I say that, of all the people I have worked with, there is no none of them holds a candle to. To Andrew Aww. and he when we I started working with him in um, 2008 he wasn't a singer he wasn't a dancer he's had to acquire these Wow he worked on them when he saw the direction we we're going that we we're adding music we we're adding this thing he went for voice training and now he can handle any tune yeah he dances um, very well no he's he's a director's dream and I am I'm so thankful to God that he brought that young man my way. It's Aww. incredible. Thank you for the way you talk about him. And oh, he's, he's an American he, too, you know? Oh, he's an American <laughs> in this one. And he looks so good. I think he was born in the wrong country. <laughs> he's not even born there. Yeah, but Uncle Bo, let's <laughs> end with the support that, uh, that you get for your place. Uh, after 2018, especially with all the crisis yes. in the banking sector, mm. But this is 2019, and you still have great support. Yes, we do. We do. Um, with Bond um, Savings and Loan, um, they have been with us for three years now, and we are so grateful. We don't, I don't take those things for granted. And then this time, we have Old Mutual um, mm. coming on board, and Seco um, Limited also. And then there's an interesting twist. There's a girls' school in Akusi yeah. called Legacy. They also come on board and say, we don't have much, mm. but we want to support what you, you, you're doing. And, um, and they, they are on board. So yeah. that, that is wonderful. And then there's the milk one, where the kids go and stand on. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that, that is part of the, what okay. um, Sickle has to, has to offer. Yeah. OK. Why, just finally, why should people watch the play this weekend? Because it is Easter. And this would put the Easter story in, this, in the best possible perspective for you. You can't fail to understand the Easter story after you've watched Dora Why. Okay. When you watch Dora Why, ask yeah. Uncle Lebo, Uncle Lebo, why? Yeah. <laughs> Uncle yeah. Lebo, thank oh, you Oh, before I go, you, you yes. realize that you see how the politicians take everything in Ghana and then make it their own. Somebody picked the title. Yes, yes. And yes. used it. Shall and, I say? And used it and asked, <laughs> as soon as see why. <laughs> Now, when the title came out, somebody who didn't know the title, that that politician picked that thing from the yeah. title, was worried. They said, ah, now, eh, Uncle Bo, or end this in yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, this was there before. Before, it was, it was, the person, the person <laughs> wrote on the back Let's of that. Let's get on the set so we can say goodbye appropriately. Okay, so... 
Yeah, it's good that we watched it before this other film. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And oh, but Ro Roland is looking Roland, good. Here, he's he's looking sharp. He's looking good. Yeah. Um, you have to you know, Koto. Koto. Ro no, 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 yeah. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Francis have a word. We call it abroba. 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 You are abroba. Hey. Fantastic. That God bless is you. gentleman. Hey. Pure gentleman. You know, the last time when I was at the play and you mentioned my name. Yes. You know, my wife was sitting there. I was, so on I was, the stage? You mentioned your name on, on the stage? On the stage. Oh, my gosh. And you know, they have this slight uh, Charlie. I was so lucky. My wife was sitting and said, <laughs> <"It's beautiful." laughs> This one was proper consolidation. <laughs> Because well, you it, fixed him. Because, <laughs> because if it was somebody else, I said, for all the days, why did I go and sit in front? All right, okay, yeah, okay. No, I, I like, I like, I like this thing. I like, <laughs> um, I like uh, Roland. I like you. Um, being coming here is always fun. Yeah, we thank you. We it's also love fun. it when you're the, on the, the spirit with which you do your work is, is wonderful yeah. and it's, it's genuine, sincere. It's just warm, and you don't get that in many studios. We thank you. It's refreshing here in you. Yeah. Huh? Thank Let you me, so much. I, I like Roland, the last it's okay. words. Oh, it's okay. okay. I wanted to say that you're it's doing okay. good work. And we're hoping that we're going to have a community theatre in every district at least. Um, we. Who are the we? Roland, uh, watch the play. Ghana. Ghana. Watch, the, <laughs> watch Dora White this weekend. Dora, why? Oh, by the way, have you told her she's looking good? Oh, yeah. every morning. Hey! No, 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 no. Today, today, today. I have. Oh, okay. Mm. On Didn't I say nah. that you... No. Uh, I yes. missed oh, it, maybe, maybe, maybe he thought of it. He <laughs> thought of it. No, Dora! Sorry. Why? <laughs> Roland, why? <laughs> Thank you for watching our show this week. Our conversation with Uncle Ibo Y. Kessie, a wet purified drink and water. We will see you, hey, I was going to say next week, but there's tomorrow. Yes. Uh, good Friday. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. She, she wants to take the yeah. day off. <laughs> <laughs> and please, whatever you do, make sure you watch Dora Why. Dora.